Very, so yeah, he's he's he sent me several texts over the past couple of days saying, "What the hell, man? Who are your subscribers? They love you." And all of the comments, yeah, as there's a hundred comments, every single one of them is just glowing, excited. It's it it's reminded me of the very first like six to twelve months of OSR, just the nonstop raining of positivity and love. It's very cool. Giving Rick a positive boner. Yeah. Just Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. It's up, Corbin. Almost full chub. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. And go check out the trailer for Rick's new short film if you haven't already seen that. Yeah, and those of you who have been asking, the short film is going to get released soon. We can't release it until festivals, festivals yeah. have okayed it. They like to be the places where it's premiered, particularly places, you know, like if it gets accepted because we submitted it to the Cannes Film Festival, which is, <laughs> which is soon. So we have to wait for that. But once we get the clear, it, it'll it be released and it'll be on the website. So nice, nice, Yeah, nice. but thank you, beautiful, stupid babies. for all, You've blown Christian's mind, the writer-director. He is beside himself. He keeps sending me messages, like and, I was saying, of what in the world are these people? And Rick blew the director. Oh, Which is how he got the role. That's how I got the role. That's, I mean, standard. Hollywood! That, when you don't have a Nepo connection. Yeah. You gotta have oral and coke. I agree. It's just the way it works. I agree. That's how Ranveer. Yeah, so exactly. James, exactly. Uh, today, <laughs> this is actually a new video that just dropped. This is uh, the untold story of Prabhu Deva. Uh, and this is the Mukabala song. So uh -huh. I think he's going over it. But he apparently it says, Prabhu Deva dance with a broken leg. What? Uh, and it's this whole video. Prabhu Deva goes in depth of himself and. Uh, uh, Dang, I'm interested. Yeah, 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 me too. It, it was just, I got sent it by a, a thousand different people. It was like just released nine hours Thank ago. Thank you, stupid family. Um, and so, and it's a smaller channel, uh, but we. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we will see. Here we go. For Subta. Here on your screen. Ah. <laughs> it was like a cyclone, only the music, like, it was like amazing. Lit. I think one of the Rahman sir's best album, Kadal. So I couldn't walk also. If you see in the NWA song, I've never walked. Michael Jackson might have given hundreds of songs later, but the Beat It song, the first time, like that, for Rahman sir, Mukabla is Beat It. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends, in this episode, how about a twist in the tale? It's there for you all, so do watch the episode till the end and capture the moment of the day. Prabhu Deva, our made in India Michael Jackson. So, he must be living, even breathing music 24 by 7. That's his everyday group, right? Wrong. I don't listen to music. I don't have a system in my house. I never listen to music. Only for when the shooting comes, only for that reason, shooting reason, I used to listen to it. Because whenever I listen to music, fathers, it relaxes. Oh, wow. Ah. It's work immediately. His I brain starts uh, doing choreography. Music. That makes so, sense. What, what yes. My brain gets so I don't listen to music. Wow. Anymore. That's not a surprise, actually. Streets of New Delhi or far away Georgia or a wedding in Pakistan. Na la uta li la la deva after its release Prabhu deva people are still dancing to the infectious beats of Mukabala even best dancers in today's Bollywood can't resist the energy of the song it's a great song for this rhythmic trance months years decades even generations don't matter a song from 1994, Shankar's film, Kadalan. Or, Hamse Hai in Hindi, forced everyone into an impromptu session of foot thumping. Every wedding hall, discotheque, nightclub, and even barber shops boomed with Mukabla. I think one of the Rahman sir's best album, Kadalan's, I feel, uh, one of the best albums. And and, and that too, the beginning of the day, you know, the first time hearing is different. What? Michael Jackson might have given hundreds of songs later, but the beat it song, the first time, like that, 
for rahman sir mukabla is beat it <laughs> i feel like that so beat it just beat it not only those times in the marriage function birthday even now when in the dance shows mukabla will be there but they do some remix but Like that song never came. Like for Michael Jackson, beat it means for Rahman sir, it's Mukbala. I feel I don't know. I made brown that's why I feel like. So it made everybody to turn back and see who, what it is. That, that sound, that music. Everybody turned back. What 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 that is? And also the Shankar sir's idea the first time the CG. <laughs> And the cameraman G was uh, thing hmm. and dancing and of course performance <laughs> and music made everybody to turn and see what this is, what it is. Until now, everybody any anyway, every show give that mukab, mukab. That's it. So even now also I used to tell for how many days <laughs> same song I. <laughs> But still now when you hear the sound, there is no song I I. Everybody used to tell me. So till now, the best song there is no song has come to surpass it. The sound, the visual, that's magic. That uh, Shankar's sir's magic and uh, Rahman sir's music blown away. And you hear only you can't sit only. Your dance has something. I was just gonna say the same thing. You have to do tapping your head or uh, leg. You have to do it. <laughs> Was so cool. <laughs> Don't cut it off. And each beat you can listen to it. That made us more push. So we were in this level. Build the music was like this. When we see only it was not enough. When we were in the real cell also, if we do little bit later, the the impact is not there. So we have to raise our bar. They say no. Rahman sir, music made us raise our bar. The dancing ability mm. more. So because it needed more. When we do something like. Yeah, music is more why the visual is it feels like that there is a real salon few i used to take the more 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 high thanks to the one sir la la deva prabhu deva when you listen to this song for the first time and you had to dance to it what was your reaction when you hear the music yes when you listen to it for the first time my father is also very he has done thousand films my father used to do real salon in the house only All the super hit songs we used to hear before only. Like that when it came, sound was different. I can hear each and every bit also bell sound or uh, any sound I can hear. It was like wow. It's like uh, we used to hear what is this sound? Like as if suddenly we see something very unique. What we will do? Like so. Uh, also, I'm I, very uh, upset. Like that, I always get told we I can't can interview Prabhu because his English isn't like, good. Wow. Come on. <laughs> got blown up, blown up. Speaks this guy. wonderfully. Blown up, yes, blown up that time, and immediately my mind was to how to do, how to, I am going to dance, how I am going to, I am going to dance. My mind was that only, mainly. It went immediately. My visual. That's how geniuses' brains like work. Like yeah, always working. Yeah. No, he has given music like the Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton are always so thinking about different. What are they doing? How to do it? Your father and your brother were choreographers for Kadhal. So, uh, did it make you comfortable that you were in safe hands, or was it an extra pressure to perform? No, no pressure. No, no pressure. Because well, I, I was not that much uh, greedy, greedy from what my I want to. I want to become a big from this. Like people must say, "Hey, wow, great!" And all. I used to give my two hundred percent for every song. Yeah, he's a dancer, not, choreographer. Uh, he doesn't. It's not song. about what will this do for me. Guitar club, it's not in our hand. No? Yeah, we will give her to other person, but I never got that uh, pressure. Uh, if pressure comes, means we can't do it. That's it. Over. He was excited. Pressure comes, we can't justify the song well. We can't uh, do that. So because my fa- father and brother or Raju also is what? No, I wasn't safe. Or, no, nothing like that. The song is good. Right. We have to give our best. That's it. <laughs>
any specific reason for the song to have wild western setting? <laughs> no, everything is director Shankar Sir's idea. He was also young. He is also like same director as uh, the movie I. Believable. Ah, great, great. See those time, what the director say? I will take it. I will go into incorporate our dance. That's it. Because director was too good. He did everything for us. Costume, the background, everything. I just just go and dance. That's it. Mm. And that time, and I want to tell. So before that, we had a fight in a uh, fight means in the film. <laughs> fight happened. I legament tear out. First time there's a legament tear out. Bones we know. See, you know, I don't know about dieting, legament, and all. I don't know what it. So then they tell legament means the bones in between. Legament tear. I go, what is legament? Mm-hmm. I went is there something under the dentator so i couldn't walk also if you see in the nwla song i never walked in nwla one portion i walked one on white and white on a ligament tear ow from that straightly i'm coming to mukabla song i couldn't move the left leg it was so painful during the st- tear, everybody felt No, no. Yeah. Even if small You had a ligament tear during Mukabala? And even if you do like this somewhere it, it pulls. So my I danced full Mukabala Shut up. right and right leg right leg only. Full weight I used to give to Vignan. I tied that uh, <laughs> bandage on. Rose color. Is to grab shoe was like this. No one way. Shoe, one small shoe, one ten size, one nine size. Oh like my that. god. So I danced like that only. That left leg has a torn ligament in it. Must have been very painful. That time the young na when song comes, that's it. Painful, painful the next only. <laughs> After coming to house only painful. When dancing and no nothing, no pain. But I was full tight. That one. Full, that's insane. The, the tight shoe I wore. That's so legendary. Tough that tough one, not the pain. More than the pain, the grip bandage was uh, tough. One. 1986 Mohan Ragam it was on this film Prabhu Deva and Rehman came together for the first time this maniratnam film had music by Ilya Raja Rehman was working for Ilya Raja what a creative team Prabhu Deva's first screen appearance just for few seconds they didn't meet didn't know each other then 35 years later Prabhu Deva got to know about this through Rehman music sheets when maniratnam spoke about it when i was doing a film with ilya raja he was a programmer he was working on the keyboard and i've seen him as really as a small school kid almost you know and we are doing a film called mauna ragam he was there and he did the programming in that film i don't know but you have sent the link na yes in that link sir has told yeah, that yeah, he said like, that that time only i know otherwise i don't know. <laughs> okay okay because was, i was also very like i must be 10 9 something like that my age <laughs> so i was in my own zone school that's it and i do the did the shooting and went for the school and again i after 3 4 years only i entered the film industry soon afterwards rehman rocked india with roja and prabhu deva started becoming india's most wanted dancer choreographer and then came gentleman directed by s shankar choreographed by mugur sundar Prabhu Deva's father. It was on this film Never for the first it. time Prabhu Deva danced to the tune of Clearly Rehman. Prabhu's dancing is just because he's the son so of a choreographer dancer. So suddenly Chikukurele came and Shankar sir was approaching. Chikukurele put chikitete ta kulale. Gentleman was choreographed by my father. So in that they came to know I was also a good dancer because they have seen already 3 4 big hits here. So they were Shankar sir approached me. So that time, two three times, the, actually the song got postponed. Then afterward it happened. But when we heard the first time, Chikubu ki Chikubu ke dalle Suresh Peter's voice and uh, it was very very unique that song. I I, I believe everybody knows it. Uh, it was uh, like a history. It was like something like. A, I see it is a poem <laughs> it was like a cyclone only the music like it was like amazing that song still one of the best song 
it's a magic that's what i get it it's magic suddenly if suddenly one magic and uh, like it was a magic that song was and uh, we did it in a night shoot and uh, when i heard it whenever i hear the song the songs only leads to me to the visual like that only till now i don't know what i am doing only whether i am doing right or wrong i don't know yeah the song that tells you what to choreograph also new well, i was doing madly whatever comes i was doing for that song so people loved it that's it thanks to uh, rahman sir because because of that music only the dance became so much uh, famous because of the sound needed something no so we were like trying to do something new and new it made us more better before this you had danced in many films and choreographed many songs uh, how did this particular song help you in shaping your career till now you are asking the question about this <laughs> song exactly what it helped yeah. even now also people say mukabla de uh, immediately they tell mukabla har chik ho gaye they immediately relate this song made me like you know, like well, they tell, tell now one night star like you know, one day next day like that this song made a rain not only in india even in, uh, all over the world it made me like a big star uh, people that's how michael came to know him yeah till now if i do any wrong also whenever they see the song uh, they forgive me that much they love me to turn the early 90s uh, you know this was the time when satellite television in india was opening up do you think that too made a huge contribution that this song became such a rage across boundaries no of course it's right only because of the because when i go to north also at that time they know me because of this song of course satellite made a big uh, difference big different big difference when elaraja sir was like this satellite was not correctly the satellite one more channel is coming like all the program gets so come going on definitely satellite made a big difference i agree <laughs> Gentleman was released in 1993, one year after Roja. But much before Roja's music took the nation by storm, the entire family of Prabhu Deva was already drenched with Roja's music because Prabhu Deva's father was its choreographer. Because my father was a choreographer, uh, first uh, cassette comes to us only to choreograph it. It was like uh, suddenly. how it is like suddenly if a boy is in the village suddenly goes to switzerland how is it like the same feeling like wow it's a different feel it's like a, that made us choreograph a better also the sound because we have to the song was so in that level part to the international level at least we have to be a little bit you are know na that was the dance was also evolving like that so it made us also to become better better choreograph a better dancer because it sound something it it has the visually also it's very demanding rahman sir's uh, music demanded more in the visual also it was very tough to give it was tough to give <laughs> rukmani rukmani the song rukmani rukmani featured prabhu's brother raju as the lead dancer mani sir's and the uh, my father's combination was a big hit the lighting the camera work everything jai it was like it's not like a separately it became like a one one thing yeah. all one is very good like you can't separate it the situation that uh, the dancing sequence the music of course the idea of the director the whole people were something very new it was and the sound was very new we all felt like yeah some a yeah, village guy suddenly when he goes to a modern uh, city how it is how he feels suddenly iphone comes like like, like that it was the music was like that hmm. each and every beat we could hear like ting tak every beat that was clear 1994 proved to be a turning point for prabhu indu introduced him as an actor for the film prabhu deva was promoted as indian michael jackson <laughs> Indu was followed by Kadhalan directed by S Shankar Michael Jackson is Indian Mars Prabhu Deva I mean uh, Prabhu Black Prabhu Deva Prabhu Deva. right style, mixing dance with comedy but when it came to acting Prabhu had cold feet he never wanted to be an actor I was busy in choreography and uh, those thing my father wants us to be an actor 
more than uh, me, my brother wants Raju to be an actor. It happened like that. That's it. I was not at all interested because, see, my photography, you have to be in a place where three or four days, a maximum five days, and move to the next, move to the next. And I was very, uh, I was very small and also I used to get homesick. Every song I used to come to the house. I never did a song for 10, 15 days at a time. Somewhere we're going in the three days, four days, I come to the house. I want to see my mother. That's mm -hmm. it. So if acting at all, you know, no, one day, 15 days, 25 days, I used to get scared. What is this? <laughs> I used to get very, like a sm small uh, kid uh, going to a big school. How they feel first day. Like that I used to feel. I used to get very homesick and uh, I never uh, was enjoying uh, those days while doing acting and uh, because I used to get homesick. 15 days, how a person can live without seeing my, my mind was like that. How can a person can see without seeing mother, father for 15, 20 days, how they can live? Mm. It was for me tomorrow, what should more than that? When this schedule is going to finish, when I'm going to see my mother. Oh, so mama's boy. That was my so sweet. more uh, thing. But what to destiny? <laughs> Prabhu Deva's iconic steps in Mukabala made him an incomparable pop icon. No wonder, 25 years later, he was forced to recreate the magic in Renu D'Souza's Street Dancer 3D. How did you feel dancing to the same tune after 25 years? I told, why again making me do to dance? Don't do this. <laughs> Everyone's like going to compare that, me. I can't dance now. Right. That is different. Everyone's going to look at that compared to how I was 25 years ago. Body mechanics yeah. will change and done. No, no, say you dance, you dance. I will try, but people will compare. Yeah. I will try, but why you're doing I told them. <laughs> this is cruel. <laughs> dangerous song also. No, no, say you dance, no, say you can do it. Then I danced. I was more than enjoying, I was very worried what, because they will compare and uh, the, of, of course that time my speed was, Different speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After 25 years. Yeah, I mean, your body weight, weight was different. different. Yeah. Think. Being 25 and 50 are two totally different things. <laughs> totally different. Urvasi. Especially, especially speed. Easy. Urvasi. Urvasi. Another song from Kadalan. A super hit song. History across geographies. Tales of Prabhu Deva's epoch, defining moves to Rahman's music, will continue in our next episode. Stay with us. Ah. And now the twist. When song comes, that's it. Painful, painful, the next only. After coming to house, only painful. When dancing, it does no nothing, no pain. Do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day? Is your choice different? <laughs> Whatever your mind says, write it okay. in the comment section below. So so, be wait. so there's a part two? I get, I, they just released, I don't know. What a gift this is. Wow, uh, great, great job. Uh, who the, it's, I think it's from O2, O2 India. India. Great little, wow. great little segment there. I love to. <laughs> he danced Mukabala on a on a, on a torn, torn ligament ligament in his knee. On his leg though, it was his leg. Right? Yeah, in his leg. I'm oh, sure yeah. it was in and around his yeah. knee. That's typically where that's gonna be. I I, I just he, I, how? <laughs> I don't even understand. <laughs> and it didn't show in the slightest. That's an intense song, and like he does a pretty intense leg. It, and it really is. I, I, I'm guessing you it was. Ligament? No, thank yeah, the yeah. Lord. Me either. Uh, but I know enough about it. Yeah. Paying attention to athletics, as I know you do. I mean, yeah. somebody tears an ACL, they're out for eight months, um, unless you're Conor McGregor. <laughs> if you don't know, Conor McGregor tore his ACL, and within three months he was fighting again. Freak of nature. That's just genetic predisposition. That's that's freak. Um, but it, it is. It's right up there with other things typically in athletics that you hear about where people have done things where you find out. Right? I, for example, I know my my buddy Rich's brother, Ray, he played football. And when he was at North Hollywood High, he broke a rib and hit it from the coach and kept playing. Stayed in the whole game and played the rest of the football game with a broken rib. What happened? Oh, it's not been recording the sound? Oh, it recorded. Oh, you know what it did? The phone ring shut it off, I bet. God damn it. Yeah. Hopefully something hopefully yeah. that it's hopefully recorded. that's been enough. I'm sorry if the audio changed. Yeah, if I the audio changed. It. Hopefully it's... it actually recorded, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but that would suck ass. That would really suck. Uh but that was insane. Like yeah. um it was really enjoyable. I would one I've always been told one he's really shy, and so that that's could be one thing. 
but also that like his English wasn't that. We got told that with Pankaj, Pankaj. and Nawaz, and, and Nawaz actually spoke in obviously Hindi. Yeah, and we, had we actually had a translator, but so so did Pankaj, and he just didn't ever he re- just had rely his, on his, that. His, 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 wife, his, his wife, yeah, they were there. They were there next. But week. even even Nawazuddin, Nawazuddin was very comfortable trying to, to 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 speak in the English that he can command. Yeah, and but was also shy. He speaks great he English. He speaks absolutely fine. I don't. Yeah, I don't understand. He speaks no. just fine English. <laughs> I am, but I I do know Indians often judge other Indians off yes. of how their English is. And not all, but I I I notice it, and I know it's a thing. <laughs> and many interviews turn out to be awful because the questions you're asked are not germane to anything you really want to talk about. Yeah. So why do them if? There's a high prospect that you're going to be asked questions that make you uncomfortable and you might want to leave and especially if you're shy you don't want the conflict yeah i know so but uh, yeah what a what a wonderful never seen him interviewed so that was fantastic that was a very well done interview very insightful yeah uh, and shocking but not shocking that he has no sound system and he never listens to music yeah that's that's a genius thing because obviously the reason a lot of people are masters at what they do is because their brain is just always there yeah you can't shut it off and so in order to relax i can't be having that on yeah my brain just naturally goes into uh genius mode and yeah. <laughs> being like this okay if i was dancing i would do that yeah we've we've said it's so obvious that he is a non-stop fount of creative possibilities so i'm sure he never gets creative block yeah. It's the exact opposite. He has to purposefully stop it to maintain some level of sanity because yeah. if he's hearing music, he'll never stop doing... He'll be doing choreography in his, at 3 in the morning laying in bed going, I can't go to sleep, turn that off. Yeah. It's a genius. Uh, anyways, fantastic. Hopefully there's a part two. Let us know uh, yeah. when that drops. Uh, what you thought about the video down below. Yeah, I bet that's what happened when the call came in. Yeah. Did you hear we got a, a tax delay for the filing deadline? What is that? Both federal and the state. I just got from uh, uh, Sherman. It's it's the deadlines moved to October. Why? COVID stuff continuing. And well, I mean, it's a combination COVID stuff and the IRS is so backlogged. Yeah, I mean, I I do know that. Yeah, it, I guess because you can. Ask for an extension, and it's usually sure. always October. Always given, yeah. Uh, October. Yeah. I think they just did it. Just.